Hey folks, it's Chris here with Inconvenient Skills and this video I'm going to be making a meat fork. Uh, I started off with a piece of 3 8 square stock, 16 inches long. That's 10 millimeters by roughly 400 millimeters for those of you who don't use Freedom units. Uh, I actually made this yesterday. So, you know, you're going to notice a you know magical wardrobe change. But that's enough jabbering for now, so let's just go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so I'm going to start off, bring this down to a point, and then draw the taper out for the, the tines on the fork. Tape right a little bit. Yes, I can live with that. Now there, I'll take a chisel and split that back and then start working these individual tines. Just kind of make kind of an even paper. This is a uh, hammer that John Norwood made, Old Hickory Forge. I wanted to make sure and get one with at least double digits. Been a, been a fine hammer. It's a two pound rounded hammer. Works wonderful. I guess it really matters at this point. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, form the handle here. Start off getting this little Getting that little curly cue out there first. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here's the little jig that I've made. I've got a uh, yeah. I've got one side of it out of a looks like inch and a quarter, inch and a half angle iron. Uh, I've got a three eighths and a half inch uh, extension, socket extension, ratchet extension welded onto one side of it. The other side, I've just got a piece of uh, 3 8 round and a piece of 3 8 square to kind of get different effects depending on what I'm what I'm grabbing. But I can put different different size sockets on there to get different different size hooks on it. This is kind of self-explanatory. All right, got the handle formed. Looks kind of comfortable. It matches the stake flipper fairly decent. I went ahead in uh, in this plane along in line with the handle. I uh, just went ahead and cut it on the on the uh, bandsaw just to save some time. This video is more about learning how to t to make a video than it is actually how to do this. Although this is part of it. Ahead of myself here. Get that out of the way a little bit better. Straighten this back out some. I'm going to start kind of tapering this a little more. Got a little rhombus action going already. Alright, I'm a dummy and I didn't get that last part, but I took a piece of quarter inch. Started off with a piece of quarter inch, drove it down there, start getting a radius. Went up to three eighths and then finished off with a half inch. Now I'm just gonna kind of file this a little bit right in through here. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this as kind of a little mandrel to start shaping this. Okay, so here's what I ended up with. Uh, I did a little filing here and there. Dressed a couple of issues. I went ahead and dressed up the edges of the handle on the belt grinder just to go ahead and make sure there's no sharpies or pokies or anything. Uh, stuck it in the blast cabinet, blew the scale off of it, and uh, left the satin finish. Went ahead and stuck it back in the forge, heated it up a little bit, and just dunked it in canola oil which is a good food safe finish and, and you just about want to to treat these utensils uh you know like you would your cast iron cookware well i hope you enjoyed the video remember give it a thumbs up thumbs down either way is still feedback uh won't hurt my feelings either way uh if you do happen to give it a thumbs down go ahead and drop a comment and let me know where i fell short so i can pay closer attention to that in the future and and you know, hopefully make this a better experience for y'all. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Go ahead and ring the notifications bell. You'll be able to follow along with me as I learn blacksmithing, video production, you know, any other topic that I find helpful and can share with y'all. Uh, I hope y'all have a great day and I will catch y'all the next time.